Well, in addition to the balloon championship headed our way, this weekend also marks the 126th anniversary of the Battle of Baton Rouge. So our senior reporter Marie Handy did a bit of research and found that one local senior citizen is actually an authority on our city's early history. Billy Spidell, author, historian, and archaeologist, feels he followed what comes naturally when I asked why he specialized in the Battle of Baton Rouge. It's my home ground. It's my, my yard, you know. And I was just amazed as a kid when I learned that there, they had these activities that took place right on the very uh, grounds we walk on, the streets we ride on. And the more I dug into it, the more I was fascinated with it. His home is a veritable museum of Civil War artifacts. He has countless bullets, buckles, bayonets, bottles, canteens, and cannonballs. His first discovery of many bullets as a young boy led to many digs in his adult life. I had my metal detector with me. I had permission to hunt these grounds. And so I gave it a try with my metal detector after I'd taken my pictures. And within 15 minutes, I had dug up a Louisiana Pelican buckle which is, to me, one of the greatest finds there is as far as Civil War artifacts go. The cannons can no longer be seen at the site of the new governor's mansion, nor is the encampment on the Capitol Hill still visible. But you can see a reenactment of the Battle of Baton Rouge by Sons of the Confederate Veterans this Saturday morning. This is Marie Handy for Eyewitness News. Some yes. facts that a lot of people wouldn't be aware That's of. That's true, and I have some of those little mementos from that, a few bullets in my desk. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. That's right. Oh.